What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I upload daily zombies content and if you love watching zombies videos then be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Someone by the name of Jeffel Morris suggested a battle rifle for Modern Warfare 2, the SO14. Now I'm not gonna lie, I barely used this thing back in Modern Warfare 2 so I had to get it maxed out in multiplayer to get a good build going and this bad boy did some serious work. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then drop a comment below. Before we get into the build I'm using for the SO14, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the Interstellar and Borealis Mastery camos, or you just want to play in easier lobbies to quickly level up your weapons and unlock camos, or if you're a zombies player just interested in unlocking all the schematics, then go ahead and check out MitchCactus.com. They have over 10,000 reviews on their Trustpilot page and are the safest and most professional Call of Duty service out there. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So this is a build I'm using for the SO14. We're using the 22 inch factory 14 barrel for increased damage range, hip accuracy and bullet velocity, the FSS Olevi laser for increased ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, the DR6 hand stop for increased sprint to fire speed, movement speed and ADS speed, we've got the PDA40 sleeve for increased ADS speed and reserve ammo, and last but not least the 50 round drum mag. Thank you again to Jeff Moore for the suggestion. Now now that we went over the build I'm using for the SO14, it's time to bring this bad boy into the tier 3 zone and the tier 5 zone to do some testing, so I'll see you all there. And there we go boys, we made it to the tier 3 zone, as you can see, swap this thing to full auto and we are ripping through zombies man, the damage output on this thing is just insane. So we got this mimic right here too, let's quickly take this guy out, see how quickly we kill him, and he's already dead. Man this thing's crazy. <laughs> I can't wait to do this bounty contract here. So let's pick that up, see what target we get. Hopefully we get a Mega Abomination or something. And we got a Mimic. Okay, not bad. Let's quickly rip through all these guys here. Yeah, so great for groups of zombies and great for roaming elite zombies. So let's see how this performs against bounty targets now. All right, and the Mimic should be right over here. Yes, he is. All right, let's start hitting a few shots on him. Get those critical hits in. Beautiful. All right, had to jump down there. Not trying to go down yet. Let's quickly throw that blade. There we go. Beautiful. Oh my god, just look at his health bar, man. We already took off about a quarter of his health bar. He's almost halfway dead. Let's throw that. There we go. Get some more distance. Keep hitting those criticals whenever we can. Nice. Mimic is about halfway dead. Let's bring him back here. Reload speed's pretty good too. All things considered. There we go. Oh my god, man. I'm loving this gun. This thing's insane. Alright, let's get that revive real quick. All good, all good. Should not have risked it there, but you know. It's, it's alright. Let's keep hitting those shots. Got double points, so we'll actually get 10 grand off this contract, which is very nice. There we go. Perfect timing. Let's see what we get off this. We got the elemental pop recipe and extra self revive. Um, I'll take the mortar strike, why not? and an epic tool i'll leave that in there all right decent loot decent loot for sure all right so there's another bounty contract right there hopefully we get a mega abomination this time so we saw the absolutely rip through the tier three zombies the roaming elites are no issue at all groups of zombies are no issue um yeah we're gonna have some fun with this thing i can't wait to go to the tier five zone as well but first we need to get some essence just so we can get an extra self revive or hmm, let's see how many self revives do we have? Okay, no, we have enough self revives, but we do want to get a few Casimirs. We really only need two Casimirs, but you know, so we have enough money for the Casimirs, but I'd rather have some extra just so we have some more money in our tombstone for the next game when we load in. And we got a Disciple for this contract. Let's go. Got a Mimic up ahead. So of course, let's quickly get the kill on this guy. <laughs> just a look at that. <laughs> this thing's insane. Oh my god, already killed the Mimic. I'm loving this gun. All right, Disciple, where are you at, man? Is he gonna be behind the house? Yeah, he is. Okay, nice. Let's quickly start lighting that guy up. Hopefully we can hit his arm here soon. And we actually need to back up a little bit. All right, there we go, hit his arm. Let's throw that blade. 
Very nice. Ooh, almost went down there. Throw that blade again. There we go. Definitely gonna have to play it a bit safer. Let's get the reload. Ooh, we got a mega abomination coming in too. That's not good. <laughs> Let's pick up some of these skulls and bones just so we can progress that event. All right. Let's get those criticals. Yeah, once you start hitting those criticals on the disciple man, just look at that. It's about halfway dead already. Let's back up a little bit just so he can't heal. There we go. Nice. Now let's shoot his arm if we can. There we go. Beautiful. Back to that halfway mark. And we'll have to reload. Shoot his arm again. There we go. Halfway. Bit more than halfway now. Alright. Gotta get a bit closer to the disciple again. And he's gonna try to heal. There we go. Stopped his heal right away. He's got less than a quarter of his health bar left. Uh, can we get his arm? Yes, we can. Beautiful. And let's get those last few criticals. Can we finish him here? Almost. I'll have to reload. There we go. Come on. Just a few more. And we got the kill. No issues taking out the disciple. And they're probably the most annoying target you can get. So we got this death perception there, which I'll take. Um, mortar strike I'll leave in there since we already have one. Um, there's another bounty contract that spawned in. Let's quickly stop at the Wonder Fizz just to get an extra perk. And, uh, yeah, then we're good to go. Probably just get stamina up here. Ooh, I'll buy PhD Flopper too. Apparently that got fixed now. So, let's see if that's true. Alright, we need to find a Hellhound. <laughs> there we go, got a Hellhound right here. Let's see if it's true. What? My guy just despawned on us. Quickly kill the Mimic. There we go, Hellhound's right here. Uh, yeah, they fixed it. Didn't take any fire damage there. Beautiful. Good thing they fixed that. Oh my god, man. Just look at the damage output. This thing's crazy good. Got a good amount of Essence too. We're at 14.8k right now, so we could buy two Casimirs, which is all we really need. And uh, then we'll still have some extra Essence, and of course once we complete a few contracts in the Elder Dark Aether, we'll have even more Essence. So yeah, looks good so far. I'll definitely have to spend a day trying to build up my tombstone again, just to make sure I have like a few hundred thousand again. But that's gonna take some time. Did I just hear a Mega spawn in? Yes I did, he's right back there. Let's actually go kill that Mega, cause we might get a large bag off him. Which is great to have on you, especially if you have Tombstone and you're downing yourself at the end of every game. Just so you can spawn in the next game with a large... Oh my god, man. The damage output is just crazy. Look at that. Already destroyed one of his faces. This is like tier level of damage output. Of course, not per shot, but like if you'd have to measure the damage output per minute, it's probably similar. Let's light this guy up a bit more. There we go. Bring the Mega back to this side. Keep hitting those criticals on him. Very nice. Beautiful. Hopefully he hits us with a laser attack soon. And he is. Perfect. Let's get those critical hits in. And we destroyed another face. Very nice. He's only got one face left. His health bar is almost empty. So close to getting that kill on him, man. Let's get that reload. Mobility is really good on this thing too with this build, which is great. Let's keep hitting those shots. All right, let's bring him back here. Come on, Mega. One more laser attack. That's all we need. Come on. All right. Oop. Let's throw that blade. Dang, those hellhounds kind of took me by surprise. There we go. Throw that blade again. Get some more distance. Let's light up that Mega. So even when you're not doing critical damage, you're still ripping through the guy's health bar. And there we go. Got the kill. Mega Abomination is dead. See if he dropped anything special for us. No. No three plate or anything. Dang. All good. Let's kill this Mangler real quick. Beautiful. Look at that, man. Alright. So which ammo mod was that? Cryofreeze? I'll take it. Why not? It's gonna slow down zombies for us. Alright. Now we can make our way over to the bounty contract. And there we go, made it to the contract. Let's see what target we get this time. And it's a Disciple, okay, not bad. Would have preferred a Mega, but it's all good. Let's kill that Mimic, there's another Mimic coming in. Dude, just look at that damage. 
This thing's crazy. I'm like in shock right now. This is honestly one of the best guns I've tested in quite some time. All right, let's make our way over to that target. And the bounty target is right here. Start hitting a few shots on him. Oh, bunch of allowance on us. All right. See if we can break his armor, and we already did, which means we'll be hitting those critical shots now. Let's quickly keep lighting him up. We've got a bunch of zombies. We'll have to use our energy mine field upgrade really quick, because that's going to take care of most of these zombies for us. There we go. And we can focus on the disciple. Disciple's about halfway dead. Let's go. Beautiful. Did a lot of damage right there. Luckily, the disciple didn't move around too much. There we go. Got a normal disciple here too, which uh, we're not going to focus on. We'll focus on our target for now. And he's so close to dying, man. We'll have to back up a bit, though. Not trying to go down. Not going to take any risks. Oh, need to reload and shoot his arm. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, he healed a fair bit right there. It's all good, though. Damage output on this thing is good enough, so we'll get the kill. There we go. Quick and easy. See what we get in the reward rift here. If we get the prompt, there we go. An extra self revive. Oh, we had a thing there. Not sure what perk that was, but we already have all. Uh, is there anything else in there that's decent? Let's quickly kill these guys. There we go. Let's get that prompt again. Um, so it's just a tombstone and a normal sigil. I'll leave that in there. Okay. Um, no more bounty contracts. There is one, but that's way back there. So I'm not going to bother with that. All right, let's make our way to this buy station, get a few Casimirs, and then we can head over to the portal and uh, see how this thing performs in the tier five. We're definitely going to have some fun with this, so I'm loving this gun, honestly. So let's grab that. There we go. So two Casimirs and two self revives, three self revives, technically. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and drop the dog bone just so we can buy a large bag here. So I can keep that in my bag. So I'll have it in my tombstone for the next game. Just so I can collect all this and I don't have to run from here all the way to the tier three, buy a large bag, get the rest of my stuff. You know, that's too much of a hassle. And there we go. We made it to the portal. Let's use our sigil, accept that teleport, and I'll see you all in the tier five zone. And there we go, boys. We made it to the tier 5 zone. Hellhounds, of course, are going to be an insta-kill. And the normal zombies are super quick to kill as well. So we're not going to have any issues here in the tier 5 zone using this thing. There we go. Let's hit those criticals on the mega. Nice. Let's get some cover here. Can't take full advantage of that laser attack. It's all good, though. Let's get a bit closer to him. Throw that blade. Very nice. All right. Now we'll just have to keep luring this guy in circles. We'll also have to take care of the normal zombies that are around here. Got a disciple further back. There we go. Let's come back here. Nice. Let's quickly use our energy mine. And let's quickly take care of this disciple. There we go. Throw that. Nice. Get a bit of distance so we don't go down. And let's focus on the mega. There we go. Got some more criticals in. I'm pretty sure we just destroyed one of his faces. Yeah, we did. Middle face is gone. Let's quickly kill this mimic now. There we go. And a laser attack's coming in. Hit those criticals. We might go down unless we do enough damage. No. Okay, perfect. Did a fair bit of damage right there. He's more than halfway. Let's get to the other side here so he can't hit us. Very nice. Oh, he can. Okay. Nice. Get that reload. Come on. Criticals. Nice. Yeah, he's got less than a quarter of his health bar left. Definitely one of the best guns I've tested in a while. Let's come back here. Keep lighting him up. Oop. Let's jump to the other side. Can we not climb? Yeah, we can. Okay, nice. All right, get that reload. Laser attack's coming in, which is perfect. We'll do a bunch of damage right there. One face left. Let's get those critical shots in. He's so close to dying, man. Reload real quick. Another laser attack's coming in. Keep hitting those criticals, and we got the kill. Quick and easy. And we got a legendary tool off that. Yo, there's no way. No way. We'll pick that up. Let's go. Great loot right there. Perfect. So we don't even need to bring one in for the next game. That's good. 
All right, so once you get past that mega abomination, make your way over to this ammo depot building. For those of you who play DMZ, you'll remember this building right here. Um, so just run back here, climb onto this wall, and jump into this window. As you can see, there's a mega there, and you'll also have another elite zombie back there, usually a mimic or a mangler. So climb up this ladder, pick up this contract, and just jump down onto the right side of that building so you can avoid the mega and any other elites that are back there. Also avoid most of the zombies this way. Make your way over to the sip, and this is where you find the first extractor. Now there's going to be a bunch of zombies, one or two elites, so just throw your Casimir right here. That's going to pull in all the zombies, it's also going to damage the elites, but more importantly, it's going to let you disable the extractor. Now once you get that one, run along this wall right here, and just keep running. You'll see this little wooden bridge here. Once you cross this, look at that wall by the extractor and throw your Casimir right at the wall. Oh no, our fell down, it's all good though. Usually you can get it to kind of bounce off so that it uh, gets over to the extractor. Let's use that Casimir. It's all good. We'll be fine. Let's quickly use our self revive. We'll have to take these guys out manually. Completely messed up with that throw. It's all good though. Usually hit that throw every time. There we go. Keep lighting these guys up. Beautiful. Throw our blade again. Nice. Let's back up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Let's take out that Mimic. Mimic is dead. Take out some of these normal zombies. There we go. Some more Hellhounds coming in. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies coming in. We only have a minute left, boys. Let's throw that. Keep hitting those shots. Come on. There we go. All right. Throw that. Okay. We might not be able to finish this contract. The zombies just don't stop coming. We'll use our... Energy mine field upgrade and see if this works or if it bugged out. And we got it. Nice. Perfect. So once you get that one, usually you won't struggle that much. But if you have Casimirs, of course, use those. We completely messed up there. But it's all good, as you can see. Once you get that one disabled, make your way over here. Swap this to auto fire or full auto. I mean, there we go. Oh, dang. Went down again. Let's use a self revive quickly throw our blade there we go let's keep hitting those shots beautiful all right first mangler is almost dead almost got the kill on him there we go got these boys too let's take this mangler out so close to dying and we got him beautiful let's quickly back up a little bit take that zombie out and now let's disable this extractor almost out of time but we'll make it we're good there we go back up a little bit and contract complete quick and easy no issues taking that contract down let's see what we get here uh the ether blade case an extra self revive which i will take of course you'll have the dog bone recipe in there guaranteed every time if it's not the dog bone then you'll have the golden plate once you get that jump over to these stairs and from here you can jump down to this green bus and this is where you find the outlast contract so just pick that up and run towards the outlast symbol on your map and you'll see the zip right here take the zip up run through these wooden doors and take a left right here and this is where you find the pnd so just get this activated and for this contract all you do is stay in this room keep running in circles um if you have extra casimirs use those they're definitely going to help out the wonder Waffa also helps out if you have that on you for some reason um the energy mine field upgrade will get a bunch of kills for you which helps out too and uh yeah really not much to it for this contract just stay alive and i'll see you guys once the contract's done and there we go contract complete most of the zombies are gonna die once you complete the contract but you might still have a couple left alive so we got these golden plates which i'll take and of course the golden plate schematic which i'm gonna leave there since we already have that let's quickly take this mimic out there we go. Also have a mangler that we'll have to take out real quick. Yeah, I'm loving this gun, man. This gets a 10 on 10 for me. So yeah, boys, this thing gets a solid 10 on 10 for me. Definitely a great gun. Damage output is just insane. Mobility is great. Reload speed's great. Just overall a great weapon. 
So yeah, thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are, and as always, goodbye.